on beta SP, you only really had two, <coughs> two usable soundtracks. The, the, there were two more, but they were FM tracks, frequency modulated tracks associated with the vision. So you couldn't, you couldn't split them away from the vision. The two tracks themselves, of course, were a bit limiting. You could do, you could do stereo, but then you had no method of Bouncing. dumping stuff up and down from one um, to, to be able to do a sound mix across a join, which is what we as videotape editors always did because personally I was working on football or cricket or something like that that was on the air in two hours time and I, uh, there was no, no way could it go off to a sound dubbing suite to get done. We had to do it all. So you couldn't, unacceptable to cut effects, cut football effects, no, absolutely not. You had to mix it together. So there had to be ways of doing that. So we either did it by using one track working in mono using one track as a bounce track or we had to have a quarter inch machine running alongside and use that as the bounce machine and that was a little bit tricky because that run up was um, different was all over the place and you had to resync it but that goes back to two inch days it wasn't until the four track machines came into use and more sophisticated bounce machines that we got really down to the nitty gritty of making high quality sports highlights, which is what I specialised in, very quickly to a very high standard. Um, still using one of these. <laughs>